Today I'm gonna to be unboxing another light from Alufa. It's the 1200 this time. The UAP 1200, it's a 120 watt light. Gotta say a big thanks to Alufa for sending this light out to me. It's gonna do perfect for the seedlings I'm gonna start here soon. The box looks just like the box from the UAP 1500. I already have the other version, the 1500. Um, check out some of my other grows if you want to see that one. It comes with an instruction manual. I just flipped through it if you want to look through it. It comes with a black light photo. I'm pretty sure it's a different one than it came with my UAP 1500. So if you get both, you'll get two different black light photos, hopefully. It comes with the little clips to hang it up, the ratchet straps. And here is the power cord and a data cable. Nice that it has a data cable and a port so you can link multiple lights or hook it up to a controller that's compatible. They don't have their own controller yet, but hopefully in the future. The light comes packaged very nicely with thick foam all around it. And then there's that bag around the light. This light also features the 105 degree lenses on it that also doubles that as a protection layer. So if you bump it or lay the light down, you don't damage the LEDs. The light is extremely rugged and durable. It could probably handle being dropped. Now off to the fun stuff. I'm gonna do a little PAR map and a spectrum test. For this test, I've hung the Alufa UAP 1200 120-watt light 30 inches off the ground. My PAR meter also tells me how much of the light is red, green, and blue, so I'll be testing what percentages of the spectrum is red, green, and blue. What you're seeing right now on the screen is the app that's connected to the device you saw me using in the video right before this. It's a PAR meter. It's called the VBR100. In my test, I'm going to be doing 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100% at 30 inches from the ground. VBR100 is reasonably priced compared to other PAR meters on the market. It's really nice also because it links to a phone so you could put it on like a selfie stick or something and hold it into a grow tent. Here's all my findings. The spectrum had 24% blue, 38% red, 38% green. Here's the PAR map for 30 inches off the ground. Sorry, I have bad handwriting. Just pause it and check it out if you want to see it. This light's going to be awesome for growing seedlings because it has a lot of blue in that spectrum and a perfect spread on a 2x2. Two two. 